Um, so these are three of my pieces that were inspired by the neighborhood I live in. I live in Lower Town, which is in downtown St. Paul, and it's been an arts district for over 30 years. Uh, I think it's a beautiful neighborhood. I'm, I'm always inspired walking around downtown in Lower Town, and there's a lot of my favorite places. A lot of the buildings are very old and very well preserved, and people care about the neighborhood. And I really wanted to focus on places that I love. And uh, so all, all my pieces that I do, like downtown St. Paul, I sit outside and work directly from observation. And the reason I do that, I love to see the changes in lighting. I love interacting with people in the neighborhood to some extent. And it's, you don't get the same feeling like working from photographs or in your, stu in your studio working from photographs. Um, but I really wanted to capture like the exact season and time of day. Um, so this one is Mears Park and I actually just sat in the park and, and drew it. Um, my work is, the all my work in the show is on paper and I use pen and ink with a dip pen and it's a waterproof ink. And then I go over it with watercolor or gouache. And this one is, like I said, it was Mears Park and it's this was done in August on very hot days. And I'm not one of those artists to sit out in the winter time and work as much as I would like to. It's just not very practical. Um, this one also was done on very hot day. And this is Union Depot. The the there's a bus bus platform to the left. And so you could hear buses going back and forth and just the sounds of the city. And this is actually the building that I live in. And as you can see, I really love just, I love painting bricks and getting in there and doing all the small details. And I, I love the small uh, decorative details of old buildings. Um, this is the farmer's market right here. Um, and like I said in the, uh, Earlier, I love the idea of nature and mixed in with urban landscapes. And there's a whole bunch of birds that fly back and forth from the top of this building. Then this is Gaultier Tower up here. And it, I did this on 90 degree days. It was very hot. I probably should have had more water, but uh, I really wanted to capture the, the strong shadows that were being cast by the hot sun. And uh, this piece right here, this is right outside the building that I live in, in uh, Lower Town Artists Cooperative. The artists that live there created a garden because we don't have a lot of green space. Um, so this is a buckthorn, which I guess is very invasive, but because it's right next to this building, it's, it's not going to take over any other plants. And every season, one of my neighbors put some beautiful flowers and it's always really beautiful. Um, and then as I was doing this, I had to really pay attention to a very specific time of day where the light hit it just right. And this one I did work from photographs because it was, I, I worked, I did the drawing initially directly but I did work on photographs because it was, like I said, a very specific time of day. And it was like four o'clock to 4.30. Um, and the light hit it just right from the left, creating the, this beautiful shadow that I really wanted to, to focus on. And the way the, the building across the alley was reflected in the window but one thing I'm always learning every time that that's why I love working directly because I always learn something. And one thing I found was really interesting was how there was a shift of cool and warm greens 
uh, depending on the way the light hit it. And it was something I wasn't really aware of until I started working on it. So these are very cool greens. And then you can tell there's a lot more yellow here and back to some cooler greens. And just the way the light was, was hitting the bark and the, the tree trunk. And I really love painting this to make it look like old rusty pipes. Um, so it just has a lot of character and that's why I wanted to focus on it.